Hello friends of Dermatoscopy. This podcast is for more advanced dermatoscopists and is dedicated to clues and cliches. Now what do I mean by that? You can see here a small part of the dermatoscopic image of a pigmented lesion. You can also see here that there are some globules, or in my language, clots. Some of these clots are brown, like this one, and some clots are black, like this one, and this one, and this one. Now, we know that black dots or clots in the periphery are a clue to what? A clue to melanoma. Now, let's look at the entire lesion. Well, also, the entire lesion fits very well to the interpretation of a melanoma. We see a chaotic lesion, we have multiple patterns and multiple colors, and we have multiple clues to melanoma, including black dots or clots at the periphery, and white lines, such as the white line here. Now, this is a good example of black dots at the periphery, or clots, that serve as a clue to melanoma. Now look at this lesion here. Again, you see only a part of the lesion. You see a blue structuralis area as a background, which could be good for a clue to melanoma again, like the blue whitish whale, which is a term I never use. I call it blue structuralis area. But you also see, again, some black clots and dots at the periphery. So, are we dealing again with a melanoma? Now let's look at the entire lesion. And the entire lesion obviously shows a severe keratosis. Why? We can see sharp demarcation, like in severe keratosis. We see white and yellow or yellow bluish clots that correspond to medial axis and comedy like openings. So we can easily interpret here now in the context these black clots as comedy like openings. So the same clue may be interpreted differently depending on the context. And the point I want to make in this series of podcasts is whether something is a clue or a cliché depends on the context. And good dermatoscopists know how to interpret the same criterion correctly depending on the context. Another clue or another cliché. What is this? We can see here blue clots and brown clots, or blue globules and brown globules, if you prefer the term globule. You also see some white lines. Let's put the white lines aside for a moment. Blue clots are a clue for what? They are a clue for basal cell carcinoma. And brown clots, this one, are a clue to what? A clue to a melanocytic lesion. But of course, brown clots or brown globules may also be seen in, in basal cell carcinoma. Now, what is this lesion? Now, look at the context again. It's sharply demarcated. It has a pattern of clots. The clots are brown and blue. There's also an erosion, but the vessels do not fit for basal cell carcinoma. This is a clonal seboroid keratosis. Brown clots, which are usually a clue to melanocytic lesion may be a cliché in a clonal severe keratosis. And blue clots, which are usually not expected to be present in severe keratosis, can be seen in clonal severe keratosis. They are not always a criterion for basal cell carcinoma. So this may be also a cliché. Now here you see what? You see a yellow and orange clot and a white clot. And you also see that the pigment here in this clot is more accentuated at the periphery. You have more pigment at the periphery than in the center of this clot. This indicates that this clot corresponds to a common leg opening. And it does. You can see here severe keratosis, and you can see here this yellow or orange clot. The periphery, there is more pigment than in the center. Why is this a clue? to a comedy-like opening. Because a comedy-like opening, you have an infundibulum stuffed with keratin, but where is the pigment coming from? The pigment comes from, of course, the melanocytes in the epithelium. So there is more pigment at the periphery of 
the clot or the keratin plug. In other words, there is more pigment in this part of the keratin plug that is closed it to the epithelium. And this is why you see a circle and why you can differentiate globules or clots from comatolite openings in some cases. Clue or cliche. Now what about this part of the lesion here? You see what? You see white lines and you also see what? You see polychromatic structureless areas or in the metaphoric language called rainbow pattern. Is this pattern specific? Is this a clue? Well, some reports say that it is a clue to what? To Kaposi's sarcoma. But it can be seen in many other diagnoses. In every diagnosis where you have fibrosis and extravasation of red blood cells, you may see a rainbow pattern or polychromatic structural areas or lines. Now let's look at the entire lesion. And the entire lesion, of course, is a melanoma. You see what? You see a chaotic lesion with white lines and polychromatic areas. So in the context, of course, the polychromatic lines are not specific for Kaposi's sarcoma. They can be seen in a melanoma too. Now what about these white lines here? There are also white lines in the blue structural area and we've learned that white lines are so-called shiny white streaks or in the metaphoric language grizzle is a word that we don't use anymore. These structures or white lines are a clue to malignancy. They can be found in melanoma but also in PCC. Now we have a blue structural background. Is this good for melanoma? Yes, this is very good for melanoma and if you see the entire lesion we can easily make the diagnosis of melanoma because in the context of the chaotic lesion with dots and structureless parts and a reticular pattern, the white lines are a good clue to melanoma. Now what about this here? This is just a blue structureless area. Now, is this a blue whitish whale or not? Well, it depends on the context, because if it's a melanoma, you would call it blue whitish whale. But this is not a melanoma. It is a blue needles, and you can see here on the entire lesion that there are no white lines. So does this mean that white lines are absent in blue nevi, and white lines are always a clue to melanoma if you see a blue lesion? Well, unfortunately, that's not true. Here you see a blue needles, and you see a lot of white lines within the blue structural area, and you see that the blue needles is not entirely blue, it's also brown and white, so blue is also a cliché because some blue nevi are not blue. Now what about this lesion here? Again you see only parts of the lesion, a small part, and you see what? You see a blue structureless area with white lines. So it would be unusual for blue nevus. So do we have a blue whitish whale and white lines or white streaks that are a clue to melanoma? Well, again, look at the context. And the context here is a seborrheic keratosis. And why is this a seborrheic keratosis? Because everything else fits well with seborrheic keratosis. You have sharp demarcation. You have what? You have the typical vessels of seborrheic keratosis. And you have yellow clots. And you have thick curved lines. And here you have so-called comedy-like openings. And here you even have a circle, which I explained to you before. Now again, a blue whitish whale or a blue structureless area with white lines could be a clue to melanoma, but in in this context it is a cliché. Here you can see it also in a subcase, so beware of clichés. And here you see the clinical image of the seborrheic keratosis, which also shows you that sometimes the clinical diagnosis is easier and more accurate than the dermatoscopic diagnosis. Clue or cliché? What is this? Do you see here pseudopods or not? Well, I would say these are typical pseudopods. Or what else do you see? Do you see a leaf, maybe? Like in a PCC with radial lines? You need the entire lesion to find out if this is just a clue or if it's a cliché. Now here's the entire lesion. What you see? You see 
lines that are curved, you see sharp demarcation and you know immediately it's a severe keratosis. You also see what circles, again, these circles point to comedolic openings, which is very good for severe keratosis. But what about this lesion here? You see radial lines at the periphery and are these radial lines of the PCC or radial lines of a melanoma? Is this a clue or is this a cliche? Well, it depends on the context. The context tells you it's a chaotic lesion with structureless areas, blue clots and ulceration, which makes which diagnosis most likely correct, a PCC. Now, what about this lesion here? You also see radial lines. Now we heard that radial lines can be a clue to melanoma or to PCC, or they can be a cliche, depending on the context, because this lesion is neither a melanoma nor a PCC, it is a recurrent nevus with radial lines. And here you see why the diagnosis is a recurrent nevus, because we have a white structuralist background which corresponds to the scar that comes from a partial removal of this nevus some months ago. And it is typical for recurrent nevus to have radial lines. If you know that, you will not fall into a trap. If you don't know it, you will fall or you may fall into a trap. So beware of clues and cliches. A good clue can become a cliche if the context is not right. Thank you.